Today we are talking about planners and I am so excited. So If you've been around for a while, you know that I, for a while, was doing some digital planning on my iPad. Then I realized I am just a true paper and pen gal, at least for now. But then I really got intrigued by the digital planning world and I got my Apple pencil and I got my iPad and I tried that for a while. But what I found is I really missed the idea of doing that pen to paper contact and just like being able to write the highlight and everything. So for the last about a year straight, I used what's called the full focus planner. It's a three month planner. So like a quarterly planner is kind of how I've used it. It literally has two pages per day. You've got Monday. It has times anywhere from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. It has a space for your big three. So like your big three tasks that you want to get done, other tasks that you have for the day. And then there's a whole nother page every single day for notes. Now I will say I am someone who a lot of times would use both of these pages. I would be taking notes about things or just jotting down ideas or like, you know, for YouTube video, I would jot down a YouTube video idea or that kind of a thing. But what I have found is that number one, these are a little pricey. As much as I enjoy them, they are a little pricey. Another thing that I have actually found recently is I'm not using my planner near as much for one. My days have become pretty routine to the point that I don't feel like I'm needing to write every single thing down. Now, when I was still teaching full time and building my side business when I was doing all of that at the same time I really did feel the need that I needed to write everything down otherwise things were going to get lost and I was going to forget about things but now that I work from home for myself I've really developed this routine that works really well for me and I found that there will be days where I won't even open up my planner and I'm like that's not serving me this was going to be my last one anyway I had already kind of decided that and I even have the sticky notes in here to represent it was going to get me through May well, it is May right now when I'm recording this video. So I essentially have the day that I'm recording this video, it is May 24th and I have literally a week left of, of this planner. So I was already planning on trying something different, something new as I finished this anyways, because I wasn't going to be investing in any more of the full focus planners. So today that is exactly what we are going to talk about. And I'm going to share with you what I have chosen and what I'm going to try using for hopefully the next year. All right, so I just went to Walmart and knowing this, I knew that I wanted to go ahead and grab a planner. I've got a week left of the current planner that I'm using and I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and start putting some things in. One other thing that I don't particularly enjoy about the full focus planner is because it is just a three month planner, a quarterly planner, the way that I was using it, I didn't have a place to put things that would happen past those three months. There is a space. Let me, let me correct myself a little bit here. There is a space in here where you can put calendars. I put the three months that I was using and I use these sticky notes to kind of signify that. So there is a space where you can write in those calendars and then past that there is a rolling quarters section. It has numbers all down the side so that you could put like, if something was happening in November of this year, you could go through and put, if it was on November 12th, you could go through and put on November 12th, whatever that activity was going to be. So you did have a place to put that, but I don't like that format. I like calendar format. So knowing that and, and being able to reflect on that as I was finishing up using that, I decided that I was ready to go back to a planner that was a yearly planner and that had those each of those months that I could flip through and it could all be in one space. I did actually find this super cute planner that had three bonus months. So this one actually started in April of 2023. That's the year I'm recording this. So, and it goes through June of 2024. So this is a full year plus a few months. Obviously I won't end up using the April or the May, which again, I feel kind of wasteful in that, but it's better than a whole month of not having a planner in my opinion. So I ended up grabbing this, just got it from my local Walmart. I will link it below if you are interested. One thing that I'm also looking forward to, because like I just said, I used to use my full focus planner and I used to a lot of days literally use both pages for one day. I would use my, I would write down my big three tasks and I would schedule in things of what time things needed to happen. And then I would list out all my other tasks and then I would end up using that notes page. I would write down different things that happened. If I had an idea for my business or if I had an idea for a YouTube video or if I wanted to outline my YouTube video and I had my planner and I didn't have a, my Google doc 
you know, accessible near me, I wasn't near a device where I could do that, I would end up using the, that notes page. But what, like I said earlier, what I have found is I am just not utilizing that much space anymore. So what's very different when it comes to this planner is you have an entire week at a glance and you only have this much room to write for one day. I think that this is gonna be better serving for me. I do love, love, love having big three tasks that you wanna get done for the day. I do love that. So I think my plan is going to be is I will just split this box in half and I will have like my big three work tasks and then like any appointments or events or birthdays or activities that I have going on, then I can write that on this other side. So I'm really looking forward to using this planner and seeing how that goes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then this bottom chunk down here is just for notes. So in the event that I do have something that I wanna take some notes on, or I have an idea for my business, or I have an idea for a YouTube video, I do still have a space for that, and that'll be really nice. And then of course, having a month at a glance, I have that back again. And I have that to easily flip to because of the tabs. I can write down those more general things and then go to my daily, slash weekly spread and then write in more detailed things. I think the final thing that I'm looking forward to when it comes to this new spread is having my entire week at a glance. So it will be so, so nice when I sit down to plan my week to go through, write in all my tasks and then go through and highlight them and then be able to quickly see Am I balancing out my focus this week? Or is this a week I need to be more focused on building my business? And if so, I should see a whole lot more blue on here. Or is it a vacation week where I should see a lot more purple or maybe not really see anything at all because I'm taking a break and I'm taking some time off? Or am I trying to get out a couple of YouTube videos? And if so, I better make sure that there's some pinkish red depending on like the color that I'm using but there better be some of that on here for editing, for posting, for recording, like all of the things. I really think that this weekly spread is going to better help me truly achieve the things that I'm after. I think it's ultimately gonna help me do better reaching my monthly goals that I set and put on my monthly vision board. And then because of that, I think overall, it's gonna help me do a better job over the course of a year. So obviously I haven't even started this system yet because it is, I just bought this today. It still has the tag on it. But as I'm saying it all out loud, it just seems to make sense. And it seems like it's going to be exactly what I'm needing at this phase of my life right now. And that is it. I just wanted to come on here and share this. I am someone who, believe me, I have bought my fair share of planners over the years, truly. You know, anytime I was in a rut, anytime that I felt like I was struggling, anytime that I was like, I need some oomph in my life and in my business or in just getting organized, the very first thing that I would always do I just go buy a new planner, thinking that that planner was gonna change life and make everything better. Did it? No, no it did not. And the number of planners that I have purchased and wasted over the years, I don't even wanna know the number. I don't even wanna know the amount of money that I have spent and wasted ultimately. But my tip for you when it comes to this, in the event that you're watching this and you're kinda of gung-ho and you're like, you know what, maybe I need a new planner. I wanna just encourage you, think through why you would need a new planner in the first place, but also, what would that new planner do for you in the sense of like, what are you looking for out of a planner? So like I just shared with you, I reflected on the planner that I had before. I reflected on the fact that the daily pages that took up two pages and it just was too much for me. I didn't need all that space anymore. And because of that, I barely would open my planner some days. Whereas with a planner like this one, I know I can open up to a daily spread. And honestly, another thing, this is another thing that's kind of minor and I forgot to mention this, but it's important, okay? This does not stay open by itself, right? Like there are spiral bound options, I believe for the full focus planner. I just have never purchased those, but you know, you can like try to bend it, whatever. And I mean, it'll stay open flat sometimes, but you know how books sometimes will end up like a page will end up turning and all the things. And there are the little bookmarks in here. So you also have the bookmarks, all the things. I'm not trying to hate on the full focus planner. I have used the full focus planner for almost two years straight now. So truly I am a fan and it served me so well for the time that I needed it and used it. However, at this, like I shared earlier, at this phase in my life, that's just not where I am anymore. And so what I really like about this and the spiral bound is I can open this up and I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
I don't have to worry about, did I open up my planner or not today? I could just open it up and leave it out on my desk. That will be so nice. And I know that that seems insignificant, but my point with that is think through, what do you want out of a planner? Are you in a season of life like I was when I needed the full focus planner where you need tons of room? Maybe this little sliver for Monday is not enough for you. Maybe you have so much on your plate, this is not going to work. If so, don't go out and buy a planner like this because you're not gonna end up using it. It's not going to serve you. Go get a planner that's more like the full focus planner where you have two pages per day to write all of the things down, right? So ask yourself, like really think through, what do I need out of a planner if I'm looking to purchase one? What do I actually need out of that? What am I currently using my planner for? Am I using my planner just to write down like to-do lists of things that I need to get it done around my house? Or am I writing down things like, if you post on social media, maybe you have a content calendar or a content strategy. Are you writing those sorts of things down? Or are you keeping track of like all of the meetings that you have? Maybe you're in a job like mine where you talk with lots of clients. You know, what are you using your planner for? And then let that be the guide for what it is that you're gonna purchase to best support you. So the last thing I want you to do is to go buy a planner and to waste your hard earned money. I did that for far too long and I don't want you to do that. I don't wanna do that anymore. So I really, really took some time to think through. I knew, I've been knowing this entire time using the Full Focus Planner that as soon as these three months were over, I was gonna be done. Like I wasn't going to have that planner anymore. So I've been kind of in the back of my mind thinking, okay, what kind of planner am I gonna want next? Do I want another Full Focus Planner or do I need to change it up? And I came to the conclusion, I need to change it up. But I took the time to reflect and think, what am I using my planner for? Why am I not opening my planner some days? Do I need as much detail as I once did? And then from there, I was able to make the best decision for me, at least I think, for now and moving forward, this seems like it's going to be way more appropriate for the life phase that I'm in currently. But again, that could change. So I encourage you to take that time and to really reflect so that you can best make that decision for you. All right, and that is it. I have shown you my new planner that I'm so excited for. And then of course my notebook as well. But I will definitely come back and let you know what I think about this. Let me know in the comments below, have you been the planner person like me where you've bought lots of planners over the years and thought that they would fix everything and then you ended up just wasting money? Or are you like tried and true, know the planner that you love and that you've been using super consistently? Would love to hear what planner that is. Share that in the comments below. If you have a link, share that too. Like I said, I have thought a lot about this and I'm really excited moving forward of getting to use this and hoping that this is going to best support me moving forward in my life. We have a lot of things going on in our personal life right now. Building a house is going to be a big undertaking and I'm very, very aware of that. And so I want to just have a simple system that I can carry with me that is going to help me be easily viewable. I can flip open to that week and know exactly what I've got going on that week. And just having this system that just, it just seems to make the most sense with what I'm doing right now. So in the event that you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe so you can get more content like this. If you have any thoughts or comments or anything at all, make sure to put those in the comments below. And otherwise, I am so excited that you are here. I'm so excited to see you again. And until the next video, we'll see you later.